Hi folks, how you doing? Here I am, the old atheist again. Um, I cannot tell you where I work or what I do. Those of you who know me know what I do. But quite often I get confronted with the why isn't there something about creationism involved? And I've got several different arguments, but one of my most compelling arguments is something I call the fall of the house of James Usher. A little background, James Usher was a 17th century Anglican bishop who determined the age of the earth by looking at the Bible, looking at some history, and calculating based on the begats, you know, who begat whom, how old that person was when the child was born, and then how long that person lived, and so on. And he determined that the earth was created on the evening of October 22nd, 4004 B.C., by using our current calendar. Uh, now, to be fair, James Usher was probably an excellent biblical scholar. He was even a fair to middling historian. What he was not was a scientist, largely because a lot of the sciences that we use for aging the earth today were either in their infancy or simply hadn't been created yet. Uh, when Usher first published his work, Isaac Newton was five years old. We didn't even understand the laws of universal gravitation. Galileo's heresy trial was less than 14 years prior to this. And the Catholic Church was still teaching that the Earth didn't move and was the center of the universe. Uh, the laws of universal gravitation were another 21 years away. Uh, studies of radiation were centuries away. So there was no such thing as radiocarbon dating or potassium argon decay dating. None of that existed. Even the science of dendrochronology, which is using tree rings to calculate ages of things, had not yet been invented. Keep that in mind when you realize that the people who say that the Earth is only 6,000 years old are basing all of their studies on the work of this 17th century Anglican bishop. When Bishop Usher was alive and working, the height of medical technology involved leeches and blistering. We've learned a few things since then. It doesn't make sense to stick with science that's 400 years old. Not if something better has come along. Now granted, we still use the work of Isaac Newton because in day-to-day -day experience it works, but when we start talking about the very small, the subatomic level, the very fast or the very massive, it all falls apart. Then we start using quantum physics, we start using Einsteinian physics, and that sort of thing. We learn over time. If you want to continue to put your head in the sand and say, the Earth is only 6,000 years old, based on the work of one person, and everybody who's come since then has based their work on that, based on the writings of one book, you've got your head in the sand, it's time to join the rest of us in the 21st century.